Hi, Hi we're, we're the, the Self family, family from, from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, my name is Keith Self. I'm the father. I'm 40 years old. Uh, I am a general contractor and a builder. Uh, the thing I like most about the Christmas light show are the Christmas trees. Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm the mom. I'm 38 years old and I have my own ministry that I run, a nonprofit ministry. The thing I like best about our Christmas display is the creepy Santa. Hey, I'm Justin and I'm the son and I'm 16 years old and I'm the best looking one of the group. And my favorite thing about, yeah. the, about the Christmas lights is the day we take them down. <laughs> this is true. Hey, I'm Corinne Self. I'm 13. And my favorite thing is like the mega tree in the front yard. It's very pretty. And this is Dessa, our lab. She's three years old and her favorite thing, believe it or not, are the candy canes. She eats one at least every year and they're made out of plastic. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? They look real. One of the things I guess that sets our family apart, as far as we know, we're probably the only family in Lilburn, Georgia, which is the exact yeah. city where we live, that puts on a light display like we have. Uh, that's set to music, that has its own FM transmitter, its own radio station. Uh, we get quite a number of visitors. I thought that would be the number one thing that our neighbors would complain about, but luckily yeah. we live in a cul-de-sac that's perfect for people to turn around in. So it can hold quite a number of cars to, uh, of people enter, being able to be entertained by the light show at once. And this is our uh, setup here. We uh, use Mr. Christmas. It was originally designed to ba basically, I guess, for probably around 10,000 lights, probably at the maximum. Uh, modified in the unit that we bought. It now runs four Mr. Christmases simultaneously. Um, if you look closely, the black wire running up the side of the chimney, I don't know how good you guys can see that. But uh, that black wire that runs up the chimney, runs to our antennas, that's our FM transmitter. Uh, depending on where you're at in location to our house, you can it will reach about, oh, maybe a half a mile. All right, this is uh, what a lot of people won't show you on their light shows. This is the kind of mess you get when you're running a light show this big. There's just no way to keep it all hit neatly. Uh, this is the speaker wire that runs the external speakers out at the street so people who may not have a car radio can hear, hear the speakers and see the music move to the lights. Uh, this is the wire that goes into the FM transmitter. And then this is a conglomerate of wires that are coming from the control box to the, uh, the lights themselves. The, one of the main things that I like to tell people about is probably that astounds them the most are the amount of extension cords. I think I said something earlier. Uh, it is well over 5,000 feet of extension cords. Uh, it takes four big boxes full of extension cords just for what you see in the yard. And every year we try to have a couple extension cords left over. Uh, this year we went and bought another 50 or 60 extension cords and used all of them as well. Uh, it's really a lot of wire in the yard and one of the things that worries us most when we put the lights up are people tripping in the yard uh, because they do like to dance in the yard. Uh, we have people come right up to the front door and take pictures. It's, it's, and, I, and we love it, but at the same time we tell them, be careful, don't trip uh, because there's a lot of wires in the yard. One of my favorite things a lot of people don't like it, are the falling leaves. Because what you don't see is the, follow, the falling leaves cover up all of this, all of this mess up. And it really hides it pretty well if you'll just leave it alone and let nature take its form. Uh, most of our neighbors really like the yes. lights. Uh, we Here's get a lot of compliments. Home. Our <laughs> biggest complaint is when we get started in September is, don't you know it's not even Thanksgiving yet or even Halloween? But it takes a long time to get all these lights up, so we have to start early. Not even kidding. The whole family was out in their, what is it, Halloween costumes, putting up Christmas lights. Yep. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was, it was messed up. But that was the end of putting up Now I feel embarrassed, you know, they're embarrassing me. But I guess I embarrassed them too, so. Uh, <laughs> the Monopoly man got to put up Christmas lights this year. Yeah, he did. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of the things that I've done that help me to do a better show each and every year because you don't have more and more time to dedicate to it. You have to do better with your time. Um, if you look up, it may be hard to see, but all the windows are actually have external frames. And the lights are attached to the windows, and then those frames are stored during the off-season uh, so that when every year when Christmas comes around, First year I did the upstairs frames, and then this year I did the downstairs frames. So that next year I won't have to frame any windows on the house. All I have to do is basically get the frames out of storage and to put them on the house, which my family's told me I should patent. So you may be seeing these in a store nearby. <laughs> We've been decorating the house, I believe, for four years big. 
Uh, we were inspired by a friend of ours who encouraged us to decorate. And uh, we've done, since we've started decorating, we've had to upgrade our electrical system to include new circuits just for the lights. Uh, we can't even cook supper and run the lights at the same time. The stove and the lights do not run at the same time. It sucks. <laughs> I think that's bad. Try watching a movie with the thing on. <laughs> we spend about 300 hours uh, every year putting the lights up. It takes approximately a month and a half to put them up and about two weeks to take it all down. The uh, storage area that it requires to put the lights up, we have two storage units that we use. One is a building that we bought just to store the Christmas lights. It's basically a 16 by 18 storage building. And also we had a camper that we used to, could use to camp in. It is a 30 foot long camper. And, and it is Santa's camper. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the Griswold's camper though. But now it's full of Christmas lights. Now we're the hip hip happiest bunch of nut jobs this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> And this is one of the things that you know that you don't see a lot of times. This is the resetting up of everything. Everything is constantly getting knocked over, and you have to readjust it. Just the wear and tear of the life, I guess, of the lights. Our dog is constantly knocking the lights over. It's just part of what you have to do when you have a Christmas show this big. Is you're constantly resetting stuff up. So most all the low work you see done here uh, was done by my wife and our two kids. And. Uh, Today she's not here while we're filming this because she is, well actually, her and my daughter are at uh, New London Theater, local theater in uh, Snellville, doing the Christmas Carol. Uh, so we really try to get into the Christmas spirit and, and involve our community and uh, we have a real great community here and uh, we're appreciative for that. The Giant Santa on the Roof is the local calling card for the teenagers and stuff near the local high schools. They say, you know, the house with the... You have no idea how easy it is to give directions when you yeah. have a Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, my house is the one with If you miss it, it's the one with the back like, really? the roof. <laughs> yes, everybody knows where we live. Mm -hmm. The roof is really our last canvas. We really want to do something beautiful on the roof. Maybe put like uh, just something simple, high, so the people passing in the airplane can appreciate <laughs> our humor. You know, it would be nice if I can get a little hand waving. That would be really funny, you know. So, but that's kind of our, our humor. We're... Uh, we believe that uh, uh, Christmas should be a time of enjoyment and pleasure, bringing happiness to other people, and laughter is one of the best medicines. Uh, the Christmas lights display takes us, like I said, about 300 man hours to do. Um, How much do you think we spend on it? Uh, every year we spend an additional three to four thousand dollars every year uh, between new lights and new wires. Uh, so in the last three years alone, we spent an additional twelve thousand dollars in upgrades. So it gets expensive. It's an expensive hobby. Uh, we try to do most of our shopping the day after Christmas when everybody else is enjoying their, their day off and their holiday and their new toys. We, we, we get out early that morning. They don't believe in days off. We get out early that morning and we start getting all at, the local stuff. At 5 o'clock I have a beautiful blonde nudging me telling yes. me to get up. I'm and down. I'm rolling over going, honey, five more minutes. <laughs> Somebody will get our thing. Yeah, no, it's an hour more minutes. But, you know, a lot of times when people meet us, Knowing my personality, they think that I'm the Christmas lights pusher of the family. But it's actually it's her. It's She's actually like this. Saturday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday a Christmas night. Yeah. You know, my wife's favorite part of the Christmas lights, I'm gonna say because she hasn't told the truth. He's yelling at me. No. No. Well, that's close. Is watching <laughs> other people enjoy the Christmas night show. She has her own Christmas channel through our security system here in our house where that's she's able new to this year. Where she's able to watch the cars that come and go, and she will sit in the back uh, bedroom of our house and watch people enjoy the Christmas night. That's, that's not really creepy fun. at all. It's <laughs> <laughs> not creepy. Hey, just just no mom back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're watching Christmas lights. Oh my gosh, there's people. It's never awkward. Well, last apparently. year I would look out the window and they would drive away, and I didn't get it because I didn't didn't put the lights up. She was to, the original creepy to Santa. Sit inside and have you not look at them. But for some reason, when people would see me look out the window, they would Because people love to be stared at. I mean, you just... For some reason. Last year, she was one. the creepy sound. I was. But we were <laughs> <here> this year. <laughs> jokes over there, Dad. I see you. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, last year, we helped eight families with the toys that were donated from the people in the community. Uh, so it was a real blessing. Uh, and we also give out candy to kids who come and visit, take pictures with Santa Claus on uh, December 8th and December 9th of every year. But the toy donation is a really big deal. Uh, it's really a blessing to be able to help those who are struggling during these economical times. 
and uh, to be a part of that, be a part of their Christmas. Hi, Hi we're, we're the Snell family, family from Lillard, Georgia, Georgia. and we, we think Christmas rocks. rocks.